Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Tahir from Family Pediatrics and thank you so much for joining me today. Today I'm sitting outside in about 90 degree weather. I'm in the backyard. I was uh, working on some office materials that I was writing and I got to thinking of all the rashes that I've been seeing uh, on kids coming in and I wanted to talk to you about the most common rash that I've been seeing um, for kids. So one of the most common things that kids have right now is a virus infection called hand, foot, and mouth disease. And that infection is caused by a virus called Coxsackie virus. And it's very contagious, kind of like cold would be. So cold can be transmitted, and the Coxsackie virus can also be transmitted and cause hand, foot, and mouth disease. It's called hand, foot, and mouth disease because kids can get blisters and red spots inside the mouth and on the palms and the soles. That's some construction going on. Hopefully it's not too loud in the microphone. All right, so it can cause rashes in the mouth and the palms and also the soles of the feet, but also it can cause rashes around the mouth and on the body, arms and legs all over the place. And kids often will have fevers with this too, sometimes up to one or three degrees. It's not too uncommon. Now let me show you what some of the rashes look like and to do that I googled hand foot and mouth disease and I looked at the images on Google and I'm going to show you some of those pictures and talk to you about them okay okay here is a child's feet and you can see little red spots on the bottom of the feet um, same thing with hands right here you see there's bumps on the hands and here is a good picture of a child's mouth seeing all sorts of um, spots around the mouth and the lips so I want to show you a mouth also, how a mouth looks inside when a child has hand, foot, and mouth disease. So let's take a look at uh, this picture right here. This is a good one. Right here you notice um, lots of spots on the roof of the mouth. And here is a, here are some spots on the tongue, you see? And this right here, that's an ulcer. Uh, there's spots right up here also. So you can see these pictures also if you Google hand, foot, and mouth disease and take a look at the images. That'll give you a good idea of what it looks like. Okay, so let's talk about treatment. Well, hand, foot, and mouth disease and the rash that it causes can cause a lot of pain for kids and also cause fevers. So primarily what you'll want to be doing is using ibuprofen for kids that are older than six months old and then you can use Tylenol if your child is younger than six months old. So six months and up is uh, ibuprofen or Motrin that'll be all right. The other thing that you want to do is try to uh, make sure your child is drinking uh, because kids can sometimes have a hard time drinking because of the sore throat. So try to give liquids to hydrate your child if they don't eat very well for a couple days that's all right. So don't worry too much about that. Lots of kids will lose a little bit of weight, unfortunately, because they don't eat very well when they have this illness. But then after they get better, they'll start eating right away. So that should be all right. Sometimes the pain can be quite severe and a child cannot eat and they start getting or drink and they start getting dehydrated. In that case, he may, your child may not urinate very much or may look very tired or not have any tears when they're crying. Make sure you call your doctor about that, okay? Now, when your child has the spots or ulcers inside the mouth and on the tongue, they can feel very painful. I want you to think about them as cuts on, a, on the skin. So things that you want to avoid putting on cuts on the skin, you also want to avoid putting in their mouths. So avoid salty things, avoid sour foods, <clears throat> and also avoid um, spicy foods because that will sting their mouth quite a bit. So the best type of foods and liquids to use are bland foods and also cold liquids like popsicles and ice cream, for example, because they'll be soothing to the throat. Sometimes when Tylenol or ibuprofen isn't enough for your child's pain in the mouth and they're not able to drink, you can use a little bit of Maalox and have your child um, swish it in their mouth and spit it out. Maalox is a antacid medicine you can get over the counter. And when I see children, I will often mix Maalox with Benadryl syrup 
and that combination is called a magic mouthwash and there's different com different amounts of Benadryl that are okay to use. When I use a Benadryl for a child, I assume they'll be drinking it and maybe not spitting it out loud, so I dose it just the right way so that they don't get overdosed on Benadryl. With older kids that I know will spit their uh, magic mouthwash out, I also add a pain medicine called lidocaine in there and that numbs up the mouth. It tastes pretty bad, but it'll numb up the mouth a little bit to help them with the pain and uh, that helps to decrease the pain that they're having due to their sores. So good news about the virus in general is that it will get better. I want you guys to just hang in there, try to make sure your child is hydrated and drinking and things start getting better in about three or four days. Your child is contagious though, so you may have to keep your child out of daycare or school until the, all the rashes and the blisters go away so that other kids don't catch it. They caught it from somebody else at school or daycare or somebody else who had it. Adults typically don't get this very much, but they can sometimes. And if they do, they usually don't have all the hand, foot, and mouth um, areas of rashes that kids do. But lately we're seeing more and more cases of adults having very similar type of presentation that kids do too. So if you're an adult, and you have a child with hand, foot, and mouth disease, make sure you take precautions, wash your hands, things that you would typically do at home to try to avoid spreading a cold all over the place, okay? Well, I hope you guys enjoyed listening about hand, foot, and mouth disease, and if you have uh, concerns or questions about your child who may have hand, foot, and mouth disease, make sure you call your doctor about that. You guys have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.